Hi, my beloved VBS families and beloved VBS kids. Um, teacher Jen here, and I am visiting my mom. And behind me, you can see this is her house. This is where I grew up when I was a little kid. And I'm going to show you around a little bit while I'm on my visit because her house is a paradise of greenery and plants and blue skies and gardens and everything you would want to find in nature. So in just a minute I'll be back and I'll show you some of the things I discovered here. I'm walking around the yard of the house I grew up in because I'm visiting my mom and I just noticed some little creatures running around. Do you know what these little creatures are? There goes one. I'm going to see if I can. I have to be really, really quiet when I walk up to them so I don't scare them away. Where did they go? Do you know what they are? Did you recognize what those little guys were? I don't know if they're going to come back out. I'll keep an eye open and see if I can find some more. Where did you go, little guys? I'm continuing my quiet nature walk, and I just discovered some little nature creatures. Do you recognize this little guy? I'll see if I can follow him. he's called? He's very, very busy. Where did he go? There he is. What is he doing? Do you know? Where did he go? There he is. This is the front porch at my mom's house. And I'm going to go a little closer, very quietly, and see if I can find any little creatures and their little homes in this garden. Hello? Is anybody in there? I see somebody. Can you see him? You see what I see? He's very, very still. He's not moving. He's right in the middle of the screen. Could be she. I don't know. How can you tell if a lizard is a girl lizard or a boy lizard? I'm wondering if maybe they wear different colors. I'm going to move over here. Let's see if I can get another shot of him. Do you have lizards at your house? Do you have little nature creatures at your house anywhere? Well, looks like he wanted to go back to his home. Goodbye for now, lizard. I just noticed outside the window, there is a nest. And right now there's just one bird in the nest. I thought there was two. There was, there were two birds. And one of them flew away, probably to get food for the babies. So I'll check back in a little while and see if the other bird has returned. Hello everybody, it's teacher Jen again. I am still at my mom's house visiting her and I'm walking around the yard and now I'm going to visit a friend of mine who lives next door to my mom. Hi. This is brass, and brass belongs to my friend Tina, who I grew up with too. And that's her house over there. And brass lives here in this pasture. Hi, how are you doing, sweet boy? Hello. I'm rubbing his nose 
He likes attention. Hello, Brass. And I think what I'll do is later on, I'll bring some apple, some chopped up apple to feed to Brass because he loves apple. He thinks of apple as like ice cream. So I thought I'd introduce you. Here, I'll get a picture of him so you can really see him up close. That's his whole body. He's very, very tall. He's taller than me. He's got a very long tail. Now you get to see a horse close up. Bye, Brass. See you soon. <laughs>